Right, let's have a look this um IGCAC MF questions for differentiation topics. Yeah, this question is actually quite crazy because the I believe the working should be super long. And also it's quite hard because when I discuss this question with my student, I actually stuck for a while. And then after that I I just try again and then eventually I know how to do. So I decided to make a short video to share with all of my uh, YouTube student and my IGCST MF student as well. Alright, so let's have a look at this question. A small population of webs is observed. After T weeks of after T weeks, the population is modeled by the PT. Alright, where T is between 0 and 25. Find when the web's population is growing fastest. Alright, so first thing is we have to understand uh, for this kind of question, right? The PT itself is the population. So, because it's differentiation, right? A lot a lot of time when we see some keyword like fastest or, or greatest or maximum, we will do something like dy dx equals to zero. But in this case, you have to understand what's the meaning of p prime t first. Okay, p prime t is basically means the growing rate of the population. Growing rate of population. So if you do in this question, if you do p prime t equals to zero, basically means what? We will just assume the growing rate will stop there. So if growing rate will stop there, it actually means maximum or minimum population. Yeah, the population. So it doesn't mean it's growing fastest. So in order to find it's growing fastest, so we need to differentiate again. Basically mean we need to differentiate P prime T and make it equal to zero mean double prime equals to zero. This one actually mean growing rate is fastest. Because you just imagine, let's say P prime T is a growing rate. So if you want the growing rate become fastest, basically mean we want to differentiate the growing rate and make it equals to zero. This is the reason why you need to differentiate two times and make it equals to zero. Because when the first time I do, I thought it's P prime T equals zero because it's, it's makes sense like differentiate equals zero to get some fastest. But because of this keyword growing, so it actually means you need to differentiate second time, make it zero, then only you can get the time the webs actually were growing fastest. Okay, so by understand, after we understand this concept, right? So then we need to try to differentiate this one. But you look like the equation and the number all is like super big. So kind of would take a while to differentiate two times for this one, but let's do it together. So like 50,000, I write first 50,000. And then this one, I change them in the index form. So the whole thing at the denominator, I bring to the numerator, it will become power negative one. So I differentiate first time should be not too hard. Negative one move to the front, negative 50,000. Whatever inside the bracket, you just copy. And it become negative two. And then differentiate inside. So differentiate inside here, um, what we will get is this one will get negative 500. Okay, I erase all this. I need some space to write the working. So this one, I will get negative 500 e negative 0 0.5 t. All right, then this number and this number are multiplied together because both are power one. So this one, uh, negative five times negative five is 25. And then I should have uh, how many zero? Two and four, six plus the five here. So I write in the standard form. So it should be 2.5 times 10 power of seven. Okay then e negative 0 0.5 t and then here i will just copy 1 plus 1000 e negative 0 0.5 t power negative 2 all right this is p prime t but if you want to differentiate second time you see carefully this one and this one both also have the t there so you want to differentiate second time you know it is the product rule so i will let this one the first term be u the second term here be v so my u is 2.5 times 10 power of 7, 
e negative 0 0.5t my v is 1 plus 1000 e negative 0 0.5t power of negative 2 all right let's differentiate this one called du dt all right so if i differentiate this one the negative 0 0.5 going to multiply 2.5 so this is negative half right so it should be negative 1.25 times 10 power of 7 e the power of e will never change after you differentiate and this one will do the same thing for du dt all right this one there's a t here all right i just don't want to miss out because i don't want to redo this question so negative 2 i move to the front then whatever inside the bracket we copy we never change it and then minus one we minus uh, minus two we minus one again minus three and then need to differentiate inside the bracket one more time is negative 500 e negative 0 0.5 t all right so i will just simplify a little bit more this one and this one and multiply become 1000 e negative 0 0.5 t 1 plus 1000 e negative 0 0.5 t power of negative 3 all right right now i want to do a cross multiply to get my second derivative of p okay so we're going to multiply right this is 2.5 times 10 power of 7 multiply 1000 means uh the power of 10 power of 7 will become 10 power of 10 all right so this 2.5 times 10 power of 10 because multiply 1000 all right, then this one, e negative 0 0.5t, multiply e negative 0 0.5t. You just imagine negative 0 0.5t, multiply mean plus, right? Negative 0 0.5t. So we plus together, we will get negative 1t, isn't it? Because negative 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 is negative 1. So this one will give me negative uh, e negative t. Okay, negative 1t is same as negative t. And whatever... The bracket I will just copy 1 plus 1000 e negative 0 0.5 t power of negative 3. All right, then v need to multiply with du dt. So this one is minus 1.25 times 10 power of 7. And then e negative 0 0.05 t uh, multiply with this one. So its bracket is fine. So I just copy the whole bracket at the back here. It is 1 plus 1000. E negative 0 0.5 t power of negative 2. All right, then I'm trying to, because I want to make the whole thing equals to 0, I'm trying to factorize the similar term. Okay, I can see both also have power negative 2. So I can factorize out the negative 2. And then for here, I can see this one is 10 power of 10. This one is uh, 2.5 and 1.25 is double of it, right? So I know both of them also have 1.25 uh, times 10 power of 7. Okay, so right now, I want to factorize 1.25 times 10 power of 7. Because both of them also, both of them also have. And I also want to factorize 1 plus 1000 e negative 0 0.5 t power of negative 2. Okay, now we want to see what we left here. If you don't like this factorized process, you can just ignore it and straight away do. You should be fine. But I prefer factorize it first. So this one, after I divide, you can see 2.5 divide 1.25, you left 2, isn't it? So, and then 10 power of 7 divide 10 power of, uh, 10 power of 10 divide 10 power of 7, you get 10 power of 3. So we get 2,000. After we simplify um, this thing and this thing, we get 2,000. And then e power of negative t is still there. And this one, I, I have negative 3. After divide negative 2, I still have negative 1. So I still have 1000 e negative 0 0.5 t negative 1. All right, then for the term at the back, after I take out negative 1 point, uh, after I take out 1.25 times 10 power of 7, I still left a negative 1 of the whole thing here. And this one negative 2, I factorized out the whole thing, I got no more. So this one is negative e negative 0 0.05 t. Okay. So this one is my second p prime t. So if I make the whole thing equals to zero, okay, so if I make the whole thing equals to zero, so you just imagine the whole thing right now is equal to zero because I want to find the growing fastest. So right now I have two big brackets. The first bracket is this one. This one will be my second bracket. You just imagine normally first bracket and second bracket equal to zero. I can say first bracket equal to zero or 
second bracket equals zero, right? So I'm going to use the simple factorization methods here. So therefore, I will, I will guess, oops, so therefore, I will get this, the first term equals to zero. So 1.25 times 10 power of seven, multiply this one, negative 0 0.5t and power of negative two equals to zero. All right, this one, uh, I already know is rejected, but I'm going to show you why it's rejected here. So first thing I divide both sides by this number. So zero divided by anything, I remain zero. And then I will, I will just like, um, um, this is like one over the whole thing, right? So, so you, you can see this power negative two is actually mean one over one plus 1000 E negative 0 0.5 T equals zero. So this one is basically solve ready one is equal to zero. So this one is undefined because one should not equal to zero. One should not equal to zero. They are not equal. So you can see this one is undefined. Then I'm going to solve another one which is this bracket equals zero, which is 2000 e power of negative t, one plus 1000 e power of negative 0 0.5 t, uh, power of negative one. Okay, it, it, actually power of negative one, I can write at a fraction like over one plus 1000 e negative 0 0.5 t, isn't it? And then minus e negative 0 0.05 t equals zero. Right, since equal to zero, I can move the whole thing to the other side, become positive. Minus become plus. E negative 0 0.05t. Right, then uh, what I want to do is I will like multiply and cross over, multiply again. So this one, one multiply this thing, I get the same term here. Uh, negative 0 0.05t. And then 1000 multiply this term, I should get plus 1000. E negative 0 0.5t. Uh, is 0 0.5 or 0 0.05? Why I suddenly got double zero one? I think this one should be 0 0.5t. <laughs> oh my god. I say write one more zero. I think some students already realized this mistake because I shouldn't get the different power because no matter how we differentiate the, the E, right? The power will never change. So yeah, this one should be 0 0.5t, all right? Because... <laughs> I cannot simply get another new power for e. All right, so let me just do a correction here. Okay, now should be fine. All right, zero point minus zero point five t. Okay, so because I use the e negative zero point five t multiply the whole thing, so I will get this this term. All right, and then this one should be. Okay, this one should be negative. Um, because this one multiply this term, negative 0 0.5t mul uh, multiply negative 0 0.5t is negative 1t, right? Yeah. Okay, now it's correct. I just so worry I made mistake. Okay, this one, 2000 e negative t minus 1000 e negative t. I still have 1000 e negative t equals to e negative 0 0.5t. Alright, so this 1000 equals to e negative 0 0.5t over e negative t here. Alright, divide actually mean minus, right? So mean minus negative t. So if I simplify this one, I will get something like this. So this is 1000 equals to e, this is plus, right? 0 0.5t. Alright, I add the ln for both sides. Ln 1000 equals to ln e 0 0.5t. Then my 0 0.5t is equals to ln 1000. My t will equal to ln 1000 divided by 0 0.5. So ln 1000 over 0 0.5. I will get 13.8 weeks. All right. So according to the calculation, what we understand is that as they say, find when the web's population is growing fastest. So therefore, add. 13.8 weeks, the web's population will go, is growing faster. Is growing faster. Yeah, I would say this question, the differentiation is a, a little bit crazy. You can see how, how much we do for the differentiation. Because normally for IGCSE question, right, I don't care, it's like five or six marks. 
normally the differentiation will not be this crazy. But because this is one of the questions from uh, one of the Australia MF book. So, so yeah, this is how we solve this kind of question. I'm not sure you find this video helpful or not. But anyways, at least I hope um, this video can help you understand what is the meaning of going fastest. Alright. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.